Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we'll be attempting to make some raisin canvas art with gummy bears. So to start with, I'm going to be going through the materials that we need for this project. So first of all, definitely gummy bears, the most important part of this project. So I have two packets of Haribo gummy bears here. Honestly, two packets is a bit of an overkill for me considering that my canvas size will be only 20 by 20 cm but how much gummy bears you need really depends on the canvas size that you're working with but I have two packets here with me because of the different color variation that each packet has so for this one you see that it's definitely a lot more brighter colors and then for this is the, the lighter pastel color palette yeah so I'm just gonna be you know mix and matching them to see what color I would prefer Next up, of course, we have the canvas, and I have with me here the 20 by 20 cm canvas. And then, of course, I have rulers and pencils. So why I need rulers and pencil? It's simple, because on this canvas, as you can see, I've already done it. I have marked, you know, the areas where I want the gummy bears to sit. So I mark them about an, an inch apart and fill them through the entire canvas. And then of course we have some um, ice cream sticks to store and mix um, the resin mixture later. Some gloves to protect our hands from the resin. And of course um, the resin and the hardener. A mixing cup. A mixing cup as well as a lighter or a, you know blow torch, whatever you want to use, so that we can you know get rid of all the bubbles in the resin later. I have with me two packets of gummy bears here. I'm just going to be pouring them into the container so that I can better select and pick the ones that I want to use. Yeah, so let's just do that. Oh, it smells so good. You know what? I can't help myself. I need to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Yummy. <laughs> Another one packet. And now we have our containers of gummy bears. So as mentioned, uh, I have with me the 20 by 20 canvas here and I've already marked out the areas where I want the gummy bears to sit so that you know they will appear evenly spaced. And then we're just going to be putting this down onto the table and of course selecting the gummy bears and placing them on top. So what you can do to make your life simpler or easier is to hot glue the gummy bears onto the canvas so that when you pour the resin over, the gummy bears don't move. However, I'm too lazy for that. I'm sorry, but... You know, we're just gonna make do with what we got to make do. So I'm just gonna be placing them onto the canvas. And then after I pour the resin, I'll try to make some, you know, readjustment if any of them happen to shift while pouring the resin. So let's get started. <laughs> Yep, and there we have it. So this is how I will be arranging my gummy bears on the canvas. Okay, so now that I have placed all the gummy bears onto the canvas, I just placed it into an aluminium tray and I'm gonna start, you know, mixing the uh, resin mixture. So, just gonna be wearing some gloves. So I know I have a measuring cup here, but uh, I'm not going to use it because I think 
I'm just going to use the entire bottle. So one is to one. And cover the entire canvas with it. Because I don't think if I use any lesser than this, it's going to be sufficient to cover the entire canvas. So I'm going to be using the whole bottle and mixing them up in a random container. You know, but of course before we begin, because it's my first time working with this resin, it's always good to do a little reading on what you need to do, right? So you have to pour the resin first and the hardener in equal amounts, and then just stir them up. Yeah. So let's just... Start. So we have here, this is the um, resin, so the clearer one is the resin. Hold on, my dog called. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be using the resin, so the clearer one is the resin, and then the slightly yellowish one is the hardener. I'm just gonna open it up and pour it all into this container. It's open. I'm just going to be pouring it into the container, the entire water of it. Okay. Ice cream sticks or stirrers. And I'm just gonna begin, you know, stirring them gently and slowly so that, you know, we don't form too much air bubbles in it. Mm, the smell of resin, though. You know, I've worked with resin before where I attempted to make a D20 dice as well as coasters. Um, the dice went pretty well, it's just that there's a lot of bubbles inside that I couldn't get uh, read off. But uh, coaster was quite a failure because I used acrylic paint in it and maybe there's too much paint content in the resin mixture that it doesn't really harden up well. So it feels very rubberish. Yeah, like a hard rubber rather than uh, that is uh, bendable. So I'm just going to be stirring it. I'm just gonna be 
be sure to go over the gummy bears so we want to coat the gummy bears with the resin fully Also just to ensure that all four corners of the canvas is actually covered with the resin. So that's what I'm just trying to do right now. Yep. And now that that's done, I'm just going to be using a lighter to run over the area with the flame and get rid of all the bubbles. We don't want bubbles in our resin art, okay? We don't want it. <laughs> stick to push it back into place That's done. We pop the resin over the canvas and we also use a lighter or blow torch to get rid of all the bubbles. All that is left to do now is to wait. So I'm just gonna let this sit here for 24 hours for it to cure and I'll be back tomorrow to see how this turned out. See you! <laughs> Hi everyone! So it's the next day now and I'm actually just about to go for my Pilates class but before that I thought why not just show you guys how the gummy bear raisin canvas art turned out yep and here it is it has completely cured as you can hear from me tapping the canvas it... so it has cured and it looks great I really love the color scheme this time so I guess you know, the two packets of gummy bears is not an overkill after all, since I really love the outcome, and I get extra gummies for me to eat. That being said, let me know what do you think of my masterpiece. Do you like it? Will you recreate it? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!